What's up, boys and girls? I'm back. So Warzone Mobile had another big update yesterday, which was a big mid-season update. The update was a full performance update to help make the game perform better. So the devs shared the update notes, which showed an improvement in graphics, as I know there's a ton of you right now that are having horrible blurriness and low textures on mid-range phones. So they improved the visual quality if your frame rate is dropping below 25. Also, since I've been back, many of your comments I've noticed are of you getting black screens, invisible operators, and visual bugs, mainly on Android phones. The devs have now put out a fix for those issues, but I've still noticed a lot of comments that are still happening. This is a mid-season update, and the devs are rolling out weekly improvement updates to help improve the game. So if it isn't fixed for you in this one, it could be next week. And for the gameplay part, they have improved input lag, high latency, and the crashes you usually get when loading up the game. So let me know in the comments if this update has improved anything for you and comment what issues you are still having after this next update. I just got back from a 10 day trip in America and I was hoping Walls of Mobile would be in a better shape in terms of graphics and gameplay for you guys but seeing your comments it still feels the same. Now my personal opinion, Walls of Mobile either needs a complete engine switch as the engine they are using right now is the same as the PC version and yes it runs well on iPads and iPhones and iOS but only high-end androids can run the game well. So an engine switch would fix a lot of issues, but obviously that's going to take a lot more time. Or another option is they make a Warzone Mobile Lite version, which will scale down all of the assets and graphics, making it run a lot better. I'll be honest, mobile gaming still has a long way to go, and most of the community have low to mid-end devices, and most AAA games that release nowadays, like Apex Mobile, Warzone Mobile, are made for high-end devices, let's be real. Now ask any mobile gamer, and 90% of them will say that they prefer smooth optimized gameplay experience over laggy high graphics high texture experience so the big question now is can the devs eventually make wars on mobile optimized on the current engine enough for most mobile devices to play the game and run it well and how long will that take i don't think wars on mobile is going anywhere there's tons of trolls all over twitter and youtube that are just posting loads of negativity over the game that's going to sunset and all this crap activision probably has a long roadmap for the game including tournaments and other cross progression features and it's great that we have a dev team that are constantly updating and listening to the community feedback so yeah that's good now mobile gaming isn't in the best state right now now walls and mobile obviously hasn't had the best launch but i'm seeing so many comments saying just give up on the game just lose hope i'm not giving up on this game okay i know the devs are working super hard to optimize this game for mobile devices and the fact that they're running weekly updates for us is amazing so try and block out all the hate. I think soon the game will be more optimized to at least be playable on low to mid-end devices. But boys and girls, I'm back posting regularly now. I'm sorry again, I was traveling in America for 10 days and also I made my girlfriend an official mobile gamer if you didn't see my latest tweet. So I'm back, drop a like, comment down below your thoughts on this recent update and any issues that you're still having with Warzone Mobile so I can send it over to the team. Okay. 
inbound. Safe zone relocated. Gas is closing in. That's a win. Proper job. Inbound. Take 